Well, happy day, my friends. We are in South Fork, Colorado, and we've been talking about prayer, specifically the Lord's Prayer. Now, some may ask, well, when should we pray the Lord's Prayer, or when should we communicate with God? Well, when I was younger, I always chose late at night when everyone was gone to bed, but now I find that it's better to communicate with God, reading His Word, breathing in and breathing out through prayer, in the mornings, first thing, giving him first part of my life. But you have to choose when that time will be. But it's not just the Lord's Prayer. I believe we should be praying and speaking with God, communicating with him all day long. In fact, there's a three verse, uh, there's three, a, in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17, a three word verse, shall I say, that says, pray without ceasing. Paul tells us that all through the day, we can just be talking to God. It doesn't mean now you have to be saying the Lord's Prayer all through the day. No, we're just communicating with Him all through the day. Now, sometimes it's not just between us and God personally, but sometimes there's a corporate prayer. When we get together as a church or as a group or as a body or two or three gathering together, praying together. We find in Acts, uh, uh, in the book of Acts, where Peter was in prison and there was a group that was in a house and they were praying for Peter. And all of a sudden he showed up at the door. Their prayers worked. I want to say that those corporate prayers are powerful and it's important that we get together and pray, not just personally in a intimate relationship with God, but as a group, as a body, we need to pray together. We need to be praying as a group, as a body for our nation today. We believe, and I believe that prayer can change our nation, but not just a corporate prayer or uh, a, a prayer in intimacy in the mornings or at night or whenever you may choose, but there's sometimes we just have an issue that comes up that we need God's help immediately. And we call out to him. I think about Peter when he was walking on the water and he was, uh, uh, you know, he got his eyes off of Jesus and he got his eyes on the storm and he began to sink. Now we commend him for the faith that he had for walking on the water, but Peter didn't have time to say the Lord's prayer. He didn't have time to call a group together to pray for him. He just said, Jesus help. <laughs> and Jesus reached down and helped him. So I say to you, that there's times in emergencies we can just call out to him. But whatever it may be, whether it's intimacy as a corporate group or just by yourself through the day or whether you're in an emergency situation, you can call out to him. He'll hear you. God bless you. See you back on Monday. Bye-bye.